So members of the CW show The 100 reunite to star in the new film. And while that show was enjoyable, would this film that they're starring be the same? Well, we're going to find out. We're going to talk about that and more in my review of the new movie, The Return. And let's start that review right now. What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the film The Return that is available now on digital and on demand and as I stated this film stars from the CW Richard Harmon and Sarah Thompson. Now here's the thing there was things I liked about this film there was things I did not like about this film but I'm, de I'm totally going to stay positive with it and I'm going to let you to determine your, your feeling about this because I will suggest that this is a film you should check out and make your own decision about how you feel about it um, first thing is I want to premise that this film is a supernatural thriller and the reason why I want to throw that out there is because while this film and when I read the, 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 the premise in a second um, or the synopsis in a second it comes off as a horror film but it's not really horror because beyond the score and beyond the entity and how they kind of work cohesive together and I wasn't really ever afraid this entire time especially with our protagonists like I never ever felt afraid or feared for them at all you only wonder what was going on you own that was the biggest thing the whole mystery of what was going on the entire time especially with our lead roger who just clearly is going through a lot of trauma ptsd and also having to be the one to put, really put together everything and he's grieving so the the, the little the, the guy is dealing with a lot both as a kid and now as an adult but roger returns home who's played by richard Armin, returns home from college with two friends to settle the affairs of his recently recently deceased father they begin to experience weird and unsettling occurrences in the house. Roger is soon plagued by trained childhood memories and haunted by a ghostly presence. These memories boil over into a reality uh, accumulating in an intense showdown with the terror that has come back. Now, here's the thing. The film is totally a low budget film you can see it but even with it being a low budget film they maximize potential in every department so it looks good but you can tell just something you know you, you can tell that you know it was over and even with it being in one set location which was i thought was a, oh, maybe two locations or whatnot you know it's indications that this is a low budget film but it doesn't look that way at all it 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 it, it totally looked crisp I thought the cinematography was really clear, especially in the scenes that were low light. I thought it was done really well. I thought the effects, especially with the entity, was minimum and did not look practical, but still looked good. Like you can tell that it was something that did not belong there and it kind of layered in the sense of how you can tell it's, it's obviously effects, but it just wasn't like trashy. So like, I, it's kind of a hard way to describe it, but I'm doing my best here. Um, and I thought the score was fantastic. Easily the best part of this film. Now the atmospheric horror, like it felt chilling because of, you know, the entity being around, the score adding an extra layer of horror and just how certain aspects of the set location look gave you the chills. But again, our protagonist never had you fearful for them. Quite frankly, you were more worried about the love interest triangle that was going on here more than you worried about the whole entity that's there. The entities of sorts because there's a little bit of like trying to figure out what's going on here. And then and then the biggest thing, which I'll talk about in a second, is the time frame of all of this happening. But um, this script could have been better. A lot better to be actually. I felt like a lot of the dialogue was really cheesy which didn't really help the acting performances because I felt like those were kind of flat at times. Uh, it almost felt like it, this could have been like a CW show with just a better production. So like that tier of like, not TV level production, better than TV, but obviously not big budget. So like right in that medium. So, you know, again, for what it's worth, it, it, it's, it's shot very crisp, but like everything about it just kind of felt like, 
yeah, this could have been like that TV special, whatever it may have been. Um, the other thing I will say about this is that because of the character Roger, who is, you know, channeling memories from his childhood, you got these child, you got these memory scenes that are like really flickering and whatnot because that's how he's able to determine what's happening or what, shall I say, what time frame that, that these events are happening. So they got these aesthetics that are kind of happening and effects that are kind of happening when these scenes are happening. At first it was cool, then it was like, okay, this is a little bit too much at times, you know, uh, or too often within those flashback scenes. And also too, with the color grading in these flashback scenes, it's like overlaid with like this little cloud of smoke that also kind of helped you, you know, decide what time frame that we're in. Um, because here it is, the, the film deals with time travel. So you kind of like having to shuffle for like, What's happening with that? And that's really, truly the 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 the, the uh, mystery element of this is trying to figure out. So, you know, every time we talk about time travel, things get difficult. Trying to figure out what's actually the current timeline of things. While the main story may present it to be so, I may challenge that, considering how some of the things happen in this film. Um, another thing that's kind of throwing me off a little bit too is when people had their uh, occurrences with the supernatural or the entity in the house. It was like one minute they were scared and the next minute they forgot it even happened. I'm sorry, me, if something's happening to me in a house like this, I'm out of there. <laughs> they kind of like stuck around. I just, I just don't know. Uh, there's also some traces of like Ghostbusters stuff happening here. Um, so I'll, I'll just leave that at that and you can kind of figure out what I'm talking about here. But um, yeah, beyond that, again, I, I thought that like the script could have been better, the performances could have been better. I could have probably did without the whole love triangle thing kind of going on. I wish I could have still, even though it wasn't built as a horror film, I wish I could have still sympathized with our protagonist just a little bit more in regards to the horror around him. Roger for sure, because of all of the mental health stuff that he's dealing with. But like even at the time, he still felt like a shell of himself considering everything that's happening. And again, with his father passing, the grieving, with the horror, the love thing that's kind of going on, a lot of that gets a little bit kind of, you know, that's that's a lot. Um, but yeah, when you when you when you see the scenes of them when they're going through like, you know, you know, scenes of the past, and you got these sidebars that are kind of blurred out. That's that's kind of how you can recognize that they're back in time and then you got the ones where they're kind of having these flickering moments where they're like traveling back into time with memories <laughs> at times it just gets a lot um so yeah but you know I, I think this is a film totally check it out you know let me know in the comments your thoughts about uh this film uh, i'm definitely curious to know what you all thought about this when you check it out but yeah this is the return it's available now folks jump in the comments let me know your thoughts about it and as always i'll see you around very soon for more reviews thank you for watching folks